Hi, this is Mickey from the Divine Miss Mickey channel. Now, one of the things that's been going on a lot lately is there's been a lot of negativity towards the word woke. Now, what does woke mean? Well, if we look at the literal meaning, you woke up. So, if someone has woken up, they are no longer asleep. So how do we look at that in a spiritual sense? And really in a spiritual sense, it simply means being aware. We are being aware of what is more of what's going on around us. We are aware of signs. I'm not talking about road signs or, you know, do not disturb and all that. So sometimes you need to take notice of do not disturb because it could be really dicey but anyway that's another subject um now with with with, uh, with being aware um, some people spend their whole lives not understanding what their journey is what their purpose is what's going on in the world and what it symbolizes and and they know nothing about spirit they know or they know very little and often they don't know because of religion that has told them oh no you, you don't go into that that's bad or they have or they're afraid I mean basically yeah fear fear is the great plug when it comes to uh, letting out all the crap. So, when you've got all this negativity that's coming towards people who have awareness, now whether that be spiritual, whether that be political, it still has the same meaning in that it means that someone is aware. They're aware of truths. They're aware of things that are going on. They're aware of a higher purpose. They're aware of what's in the shadows. They're aware. So when all this negativity goes on towards, you know, you, you're woke and all this sort of stuff, well, you know, I mean, um, is it really a bad thing? Who cares what they think for one thing? But for another thing, if they want to stay asleep, that's that's their stuff, you know. I was going to say something else, but I'll be polite. I'm an Aussie, you know, so some things might slip out. But it's up to us as to whether we're going to wear the negativity and be affected by it. So, okay. If you want to talk, and it's, it, I know it's a big thing going on in America, you know. Oh, they're just woke. And wear that badge with pride. That's what I say. Wear that woke badge with pride. Yeah, I'm woke. I'm woke because I'm aware. I can see what's going on. I can see the crap. I can see through all the words. I can see through all the BS. I can see through all the media manipulation. I can see it. And then when we apply that on a spiritual level, again, it's it's a badge. It's a badge to be proud of without having the ego. How? Oh, Jeez, you know. Ego. Proud. You know, you can you can be proud of your achievements. You can be a, proud of your awareness. You can be proud of how far you've come along in your journey. It's okay to be proud of that because hell, you did it. Nobody else did it for you. You're the one who chose to wake up. You are the one who chose to become woke. See where it's going? It's a good thing. So how do we become woke? Hmm. Let's have a think about that. How do we become woke? You know, I'm going to tell you my story 
and see if you can get out of anything out of that. And this was in 1991. I was sort of, I was already starting to have a little bit of awareness, but I'd never been brought up with any belief system uh, apart from learning from my dad that you stand up against injustice, and that's another story we'll go into another time. But I, how far do I go with this? Oh, we won't go into that. Okay. Um, I read, I was 31. I had already had my two girls, uh, soul mother, doing it tough. But I got a book called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise L. Hay. Now, if you've read that book, most people have gone, wow, yeah, that, that, that's good, you know. And sometimes there's people who don't because everyone's got their own journey and everything, everyone relates differently um, to things. So what works for one to help them gain awareness may not work for another. So that, work, that book was the beginning for me. Uh, the lights came on. It just took reading one book and I started to explore more. Um, I started the journey towards um, not just enlightenment, enlightenment, enlightenment. I got the word right. <coughs> uh, it's not just it's not just that. It's uh, awareness. It is healing particularly if you've had a lot of abuse in your life, if you've had a lot of negative talk about you, if you've got low self-esteem, low self-worth, when those lights come on, you do feel a little bit more empowered. And the further you go, and you don't leave it at reading one book, you start reading what you can, but also going with what feels good in your gut. Now, what does that mean? Okay, have you ever, have you ever sort of, uh, someone's told you something and, and you get this funny feeling in your stomach that, ooh, I don't think that's right. Have you ever had that? Well, first off, that's a form of psychic energy, but that's your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that's not right or there might be something else that you're told and you get the sense of excitement that's what you do a long time ago I read the words follow your excitement and that is so true because if if something feels good if you just feel excited you just that is your soul telling you, you're on the right track. This is it. This is the way you're meant to be going. <clears throat> if, on the other hand, you read something and it's like, mm, I don't think I like the sound of that. Or, oh, this is so hard to read. Well, if it's too hard to read, it's either the wrong message for you at the particular time it doesn't mean it's a bad message it means it's the wrong one for you or just at that timing um, and it just yeah put it down go find something else look at something else read something else uh, we have an amazing community on YouTube uh, and it, I, from what I know, it's it's in a lot of other social media. So many amazing souls that are so aware of spirit, of spirituality, of many ways of overcoming um, the difficulties and the challenges that we have. Um, and one of a uh, uh, thing that comes with being woke is when you have medical challenges, you can actually find out areas uh, where you need to work on because 
there's such a thing as metaphysical reasons for um, illness. Now I developed, at 45, I developed fibromyalgia. And when I look back on it, because it took a while to get the diagnosis, and, um, and I realized that metaphysically life had been painful. And I was constantly in fight or flight. My cortisol levels were constantly raised because there was this fear, this fear factor going on. Um, and so at a time actually when life was good, it manifested to say, no, it's not. Life is painful. And so that's what I've been working on. And it's been... 18 and a half years, nearly 18 and a half years that I've been working on healing fibro, but it was quite a long journey and I went down the medical road, it didn't work. So I've looked at alternative things, but it was discovering the, the metaphysical and that's been the biggest eye-opener because now I'm starting a lot of things to heal that. Anyway gone off track a bit which is pretty normal for me um, but I hope that from that you can realize that it takes sometimes one sentence from someone one movie one book one thing on YouTube it can take just one thing and suddenly the lights go on and they might be dim at first, or they might be, whoa, spotlight. But as long as the light's going on, then you can start growing. And it's just absolutely awesome. Awesome. So never be afraid of the saying about being woke, because it is a positive thing. I will address before I do some cards here. I will address something that I call fake work. Now, I have had personal experience. I call it peace, love, among beans. Um, and it's where people, they are woke in their heads. They have done the courses. They have no terminology. They have facts, figures. They have the words, but they don't have the heart. It's not in their soul. They're not walking their talk. They sit back in judgment over people who are not on their level. Well, you know, sometimes they're actually higher up than those people who sit in judgment. So there are such things as fake woke. So be aware of that, that there are people who they know how to say the words, but they don't know how to walk the talk. It's a big thing. So on that, I thought we'd first do some cards. And I asked Spirit to give me two cards. Well, they said two cards. From my favorite deck, one of them, is the Lightseer's Tarot. If you have not seen this deck, what are you doing? because almost every reader on Facebook is using this deck because it is beautiful and it talks. But anyway, that's the light series tarot. I should get a cut for all this. But I have to admit, I love it. I asked Spirit, I said, can you give me two cards to go along with the talk for today? And uh, hmm, what do they give first? Judgment. Now, what have we been talking about? The judgment of scared or misguided people against being aware. And sometimes that means we've got to stand strong. We've got to shine our light and no matter what, we stand strong. We stand strong in our truth against the judgment and we set our soul free we set 
how we set ourselves free from the judgment. So how beautiful is that? Wonderful. Ah, I love it when spirit talks. I also asked for a numerology card because I, I said, do we want to do a numerology card? They said, yeah. Okay. And what did I get? I shuffled and I shuffled and I said, okay, something for today. And what did I get? How many of you have been seeing this lately? Three, three, three. I am powerful. And yes, you are. You're powerful in your own way. Remember that. It is your own way. Not what Joe Blow down the road is doing. Is that just an Aussie saying? I don't know. But you're powerful in the way that works for you. Some people are quietly powerful. They give out love. They give out understanding. They give out tolerance. They just walk peacefully through life. But they do it with grace and awareness. They are peacefully woke. And then you get people who, they are, they are strong and they are gonna take all this on and they will fight the good fight, but in a spiritual positive way, by getting the message out, by letting people know and not letting themselves be beaten down by the prejudice and the ignorance of others. And that, that can take a lot of work. So we've got 333 three, three. and the words on this is, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity, live your truths and be a positive light to others. Let's do that again. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity, live your truths and be positive light to others. That is powerful. And uh, it's important to stand strong in your truth, whatever that truth is, because truth is an individual you know, well, I mean, personal truth, beliefs, faith, that sort of thing. Um, I, I firmly believe in doing no harm to others, even if you want, sometimes want to strangle someone or, you know, that happens, we're human, we're here learning. You know, you might want to kick on the butt a few times, well, you know, try and hold back. If you're at my height, it's not so easy to reach a lot of butts, I'm only five foot. Don't ask me what that is in centimetres because I wouldn't have a clue. I'm old school. I just didn't bother learning. I know feet ninjas. I can see feet ninjas. Centimetres, it's like, I'm not really sure. So anyway, I um, I thought I'd try a different book for a quote. So God knows if you're watching at another time, you know, you might say, oh, do you have that last time? Anyway. This is the book by Susan Howard. And I asked Spirit to, to take me to a quote that is relevant to the talk today. And they said, how much longer will you go on letting your energy sleep? How much longer are you going to stay oblivious of the immensity of yourself? Don't lose time in conflict. Lose no time in doubt. Time can never be recovered. And if you miss an opportunity, it may take many lives before another comes your way again. Wow. How does that fit in? That's pretty awesome. So forget what anyone, anyone else's negativity strong in what you feel is right because that's what it's about I hope you are having an awesome morning afternoon night wherever you are whenever you watch this 
I hope this greets you and makes you feel much better about your journey today. Much love to you.